Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Wildy Garden. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the importance of dragonfly perches. Now, if you can see behind me, just there, I'll put a close up clip in now. There is a female broad bodied chaser which is continuously landing on this dragonfly perch, which I've put in this latest pond uh, in Surrey in England, where it was only literally finished, well, bar the planting, I've got the planting to go in this afternoon. It was literally finished last Friday, so it's Monday today, so only three, four days ago, and there is already a dragonfly calling this pond its home, and it is using this perch. The main reason dragonfly perches are essential in any wildlife pond, if you're thinking of building one, is they are a prominent lookout. Now, dragonflies are incredible hunters hunters they can fly at speeds up to 15 meters a second and they can literally turn on a sixpence and uh, head in the opposite direction they are incredibly versatile and very agile flyers and they are wonderful at uh, looking for and spotting prey and of course catching it on the wing where they have this quite gruesome habit of flying up behind an insect grabbing it with their uh, their feet and holding it in like a cage almost while they either decapitate it or eat it on the wing. So yeah, they really are a ferocious predator and the absolute king of any pond. <clears throat> and of course, uh, by having this prominent lookout, these things, they do have almost 360 degree vision and they are amazing at spotting some insects. But by having that perch prominently sticking out above the water, it really gives them a great vantage point to be able to spot any prey and uh, take off and go and grab one and come back to their perch often where they will then eat their prey. Uh, so it really is a great way of watching these incredible acrobats at work and watching how they continue to uh, feed themselves on the wing and um, make the most of these dragonfly perches. Now, if you've been watching some of the ponds I've done over the years and you've been following what I do on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, you will know just how many of these ponds I install and this is pond number 98. I've nearly installed 100 wildlife ponds now in my wildlife landscaping career. And so two ponds time, I will be sure to do you an update and a video on me installing my 100th wildlife pond around the UK, which is, uh, yeah, something I'm really, really looking forward to. So keep an eye out for that one. Uh, but um, of course the dragonflies, by the way, they are uh, wonderful at um, just being incredibly brilliant at catching insects underwater as well they are voracious predators if you've ever seen a dragonfly nymph they can get pretty big some of the emperors and the hawkers um, in a pond and you might see them they look completely different to an adult dragonfly of course but they do spend sometimes up to two years three years maybe um, as the larval stage in a pond where they will eat almost anything tadpoles small newts um, other invertebrates lots and lots of different insects basically that live underwater so they will be continuously swimming around a wildlife pond looking for prey and they have these kind of extendable mandibles which they can shoot out to grab the prey and then bring it back to them on, underwater so these guys really are the king of the pond so it's absolutely brilliant to see uh, this female broad body chaser moving into this new habitat just as soon as it has been created you can see now the pond behind me is a really decent size it's about uh six meters by four and a half meters we've got another dragonfly perch over there oh it's just took off uh no doubt to go and get some more insects and then come back so it's been landing on this perch and the one that i've got just in here which uh, the customer actually found themselves in the garden which is great always nice to reuse what's in the garden so it's a really decent sized pond this and it will be fantastic once it's planted up i've got all the plants to go in it now uh which i'm going to do in this sweltering weather we're having here in uh, the middle of July here in the UK so uh, I'm going to get some sun cream on get this thing planted and then let everything be we also already have a pond skater on the pond which is absolutely fantastic that has just turned up today I believe so I'm told and uh, you know that again two or three days insects finding this pond that are water specialists and absolutely making the most of this new habitat so really really brilliant to see and i can't wait to see how this pond is doing in a couple of weeks time when hopefully i'll get a chance to pop back and give you a bit of an update but um, apologies for the delay in the videos recently guys i've been all over the uk installing habitats everything from meadows to ponds 
everything in between, you name it. So I've got a video coming up very soon of how to make your very own bog garden. I've filmed that now, I've just got to get it edited and onto YouTube for you guys to see. But lots and lots in the pipeline, been filming a lot, been all over the place, as you may have seen in one or two of the previous videos, been up to Scotland. Uh, got a couple of videos to make you out of that trip up there. So lots and lots to come, but thank you so much for the support. Stay with me, I promise there'll be more content coming soon. I've just been out all hours, as I say, working five, six, seven days a week sometimes just to keep on top of the projects at the moment. And of course, it's now still flat out. I've got August where I'm starting many, many meadow projects up and down the country. So a lot of long hours on bulldozers and diggers just to get those implemented before September so that I can then sow those wildflower meadows. Um, I've got a wonderful little bird hide to go and build in Scotland. So I'll, uh, I'll keep you posted on that one, do a video on that later on in the year, but lots and lots coming up on the channel. So as always, guys, any comments, drop them in the box below. I'll be happy to answer them as and when I can. But please, as I say, bear with me. I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. And um, thanks ever so much again for the support. And anything else you're looking for, wildyourgarden.com, of course, pond liners, pond plants, wildflower seed, wildflower plants, um, please just uh, check out wildygarden.com. There is a whole source of information and products there for you guys to go and create your own wildlife garden. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all soon.